Hello everybody, this is Skeeter92 back in action. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to mine Bitcoin Cash. Today, everybody has asked me how to mine Bitcoin Cash because of the upcoming hard fork. And of course, there's a lot of people out there that want to uh, benefit from both coins. So I've been asked a lot today, how do you mine Bitcoin Cash? Uh, a lot of people don't know how to. So to th in this video, I'm going to try my best to explain how to get started on mining a but uh, mining Bitcoin Cash. Um, so this is website called uh, pool.viabtc.com. I will definitely put my uh, referral link in the description so you can click on that to get started. Um, but on this website, it allows you to uh, mine actually more than just Bitcoin Cash, but different types of cryptocurrency. Um, but for the sake of this video, we're going to uh, only talk about Bitcoin Cash. So you can go to the link in the description and it's going to take you straight to this website. And once you get to this website, you would sign up, create an account. Um, of course, they have Google Authenticator it's just for two factor authentication purpose, you know, the security. Um, so once you get your account set up, you go to check your email and verify that you are who you say you are and then once you sign in you get to a website that looks just like this and it's going to show you the different types of coins that they have and of course if you want to take a look at the website you, you know you're more than welcome to do that as well just in case you want to see oh yeah and they also they have a really nice app that you can download on your phone as well uh, there's a lot of companies out there that you know they, they don't really have a really good app they just kind of have an app that shows you uh, what machine is running, what workers are running, and how much Bitcoins you got. But this, the app for this website gives a lot more detail. It makes it a little bit, you know, user friendly. So it's, it's really good. Um, I mean, I would recommend downloading it. I actually have it myself. There's a lot of uh, different things you can do with the app. Okay, so um, before we get started, uh, I just want y'all to know that the good news is uh, if you are mining Bitcoin Cash, when the hard fork comes, this website supports the new coin as well. So it doesn't go away or they only hold on to Bitcoin Cash. They kind of, they give you both coins as well, which is good. Uh, so November 14th, they'll make a snapshot of what everyone has and then they'll disperse the coins on, you know, the, how they see fit, which is good. So that's what this is right here. You know, uh, if any new assets are generated due to the BC BCH hard fork, these new assets will be allocated to all BCH holders against their BCH holdings and via BTC accounts according to the result of the snapshot. Please refer to our official announcements for more details. So they will be able to provide us with uh, the new cryptocurrency that comes out after the hard fork. Okay, so back to where we started. So once you log in, you get to this website, and once you get to this website, you click pools at the top, and then you go to BCH pool. Click on that, and then it's going to show you this website. On this website, you scroll down to the bottom, and I am using a uh, Ant Miner S9. So what I did was I went to my miner settings and in the URL bar, I guess I can see if I can pull it up. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Let's see if I can find uh, one second. All right, here it is right here. So when you go to your miner configuration in the URL bar, you use this link. And for the uh, worker and the password, the password is anything. In the worker, I have my username. Is is you only need your username, by the way? But I just did dot worker one, just be, to make it easier. So that way, I need just in case I need to change something or if a machine goes down, I know which one it is. But uh, right here, as you can see, um, it says create a worker with the form of your username dot worker or your username dot worker id so and any password for it so once you do that uh give it a few minutes because it takes a while for your machine to actually start 
running and uh, getting up to its full potential and then you'll start seeing results slowly but surely and then once you reach a certain amount of BTC then you'll be able to with withdraw it as well um, see this is why that way just in case a machine goes down I know which one went down just in case that way I don't have to sit there and restart all of them all the time so like I said I am using an Antminer S9 so uh, that's why I kind of got higher uh, hash rates than uh, some people. I know a lot of people use uh, GPU. I mean, I've used to do GPU as well. Um, let's see. Total coins. So, I mean, I mean, it has a lot of good information that you can find. And a lot of the stuff that I'm showing you guys are the exact same thing you would be able to see on the app as well. Of course, you can withdraw manually and also do an auto withdraw as well. I mean, it's a good website. Uh, it has more than just, like I said, it has more than just uh, Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin. So, I mean, it's a good thing to use. I mean, I like it so far. I mean, I haven't ha had any problems with it just yet. But um, that's the end of this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and I'll try my best to get back to you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe this video and I will try my best to get more video in the upcoming days or weeks. I'll try my best to. Thank you. Have a good day.